EFWT. Single barrel. New riff. So, my friends at EFWT, which is on Fuego Whiskey Tasting. That oh, well, that's sharp. That's sharp. Number one thing I can tell you is it makes me salivate. It's warm, like really warm. It cannot be bad because I'm drinking and smoking. What, what, what do you want me to do? Cannot be bad. Oh, yeah. I, ooh, this thing keep dropping today. I don't know. It's not holding. The... Okay, let's go. Every single day I'm gonna make something great That's my way Every single day I'm gonna make Hey guys, Tony the Soy Sauce Assassin Welcome to another episode of Kind of a Cigar Review Kind of Review, almost a review Yeah, let me turn my sound slightly louder Because I might move and they are just to talk about this because I'm a little bit excited, all right? So today, technically, technically, I'm going to review this for you guys. Now, you think this is just any other new riff, but it's not. Now, this is the special EFWT single barrel new riff. So my friends at EFWT, which is on Fuego whiskey tasting that one of the Shadow Smokes Legion member is part of, they decided to get an entire barrel of these things and distribute it as their own. So this thing is 111.1 one, one, one one proof. 111.1 one, one, one one proof. So that's 55.55% alcohol. So, and I got barrel number 17151. I think every, every single person will have that same thing. Now I want to review it. I want to see how good they are at really tasting whiskey because they're the whiskey tasting group, right? So their palate should make something amazing. Amazing. And if they're wrong, I get to make fun of them, right? So, hey, let's, let's do this. Let's do this. So we cannot have a good drink without a cigar, but I don't want to tint my palate or change my palate that will pertain particularly ruin the um, the flavor of that whiskey or bourbon, you want to call that. So I decided to do what I smoke the most. So I guess this will be a review of what I do most. Davidoff Signature 2000. It's my number one go-to cigar. This is like when I have nothing to smoke, I smoke this. When I'm bored, I smoke this. When I'm sleeping, I smoke this. I wake, I smoke this. When I take a piss, I smoke this. When I take a shit, I smoke this. When I do outside, I'm smoking this. When I'm inside, I'm smoking this. When I'm like smoking another cigar, I'm smoking this cigar. So I figure I open a box for you guys because I just happened to run out of all my tuba ones. Now, here's a beautiful part. For some reason, Davidoff Signature 2000 is their Corona. Davidoff Signature 1000 is their Petite Corona. But there's no Davidoff 3000. There's no 4000. There's no 5000. But there is 6000. Yep, there is 6000. And um, they're also Lincero. So what's with the number? I think that's supposed to be like reflecting the old way where um the cubans named the sizes it's by like thousands when a number or something like that i think that's what it is i'm not too sure but that's not gonna stop me from liking this particular one enough so uh, let me see if there's any information on nope you just have a quality control Number is V957957. And BU06. 
Don't they usually write down what year this one is made out of? I don't know. This one has been there for a while. So let's open it up. Hopefully it's still smokable. Knife. It's a lot of me talking nonsense. Let's go. Cut the security seal. Now it's cut. Ta-da! Brand new box. This is how a box of Davidoff signature looks like. Okay. Format is Corona. That is 5 and 1 16th to 43. 5 and 1 16 by 43. Big one out. This is my favorite cigar really. This is light enough to do everything with. Put it back in there. Now this is a box of 25. Let me uh, see if I can give you an average size, average, average price, average price, average price of this particular cigar. Because I never look at price on these things. I believe it's something something of 400 something dollars. So, before tax. So if I click on... Signature 2000. Where you at? Eh, it's actually not that easy to find. This is Davidoff's best selling cigar, so it's... I should be able to find it relatively easy. You can hear me clicking. Click and click, 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 click. By the way, they, the signature number one and signature number two are Lanceros. So I, I, I don't know what the, how, how they number the numbers and stuff like that. So a single stick is $17.20. And a box of $25 like this is $430. Okay, so... And uh, in terms of the blend, wrapper is Ecuadorian, uh, Ecuadorian Connecticut, Ecuadorian hybrid for the binder, and filler is Dominican Republic. Are you shocked? They are from Dominican Republic. Here we go. Now. Get a good look at both stuff. Number one is um, the cigar, Signature 2000. Very basic. 2000 on one side, Geneva, um, you know, there you go. Signature of David, David F. White Band. Uh. Is that too, too, uh, that's kind of heavy. There we go. Uh. All right, so I'm going to open this one too. And we go at it. And like, you know, I'm going to water this down a little bit to kind of break up the flavor. Hopefully that doesn't ruin the flavor. I don't have a little thing that, that drips it. There we go. Yeah. We can do this. There we go. Yeah. All right. Break the seal. Ooh. Smell like berry. Mm, okay. I want to use the cup, but I forgot to wash it, so I'm just going to wash it right now. That's how I wash it. Some water in there, shake it up. And 
and dump it. Now it's clean. Let's go. Alright, you need to break up a little bit because I just take a whiff, it smells like alcohol. <laughs> It's a very deep. Oh, well, that's sharp. That's sharp. Very deep blueberry slash alcohol slash tea. Open it up. I can tell this is too strong, too. I'm going to just give it a little bit of water. Okay. Don't be afraid to add a few drip of water into your in, into your bourbon because that opens up the oil, the aroma. So just a few drip, though. It didn't tell you to dump the entire cup in there. Slowly. Slowly. Yep. Oh, here we go. There's a little bit of floral notes in here too. Let's go. Wow. That is... Number one thing I can tell you is it makes me salivate. It's warm. Like really warm. It does it. Oh my god, it's warm. The moment I touch it, touch my tongue, it, the warm just spread. It's really. It's got a little bit of. Oh, minty, licorice, sugary. Taste along with that alcohol pull through um, with a little bit of earthiness, bitterness that kind of goes around. Would you even call that peaty? Uh, I don't know. And um, wow, hold on. Wow, that coats the entire mouth. Makes me saliv salivate a lot. Okay. While that's happening, let's get a cigar. Witsiness, a little bit of wine, a little bit of coffee note. A little bit of hay. Very good. Light, medium strength. Wow. 
it's very, very, very strong. Now, it, this alcohol burns at the tip of my tongue, but not on my tongue. It's weird. It has a little bit of... Like ginseng root. Like, if you have those ginseng slices, but you don't, like, you know, if you use the entire piece that has a little bit of thread coming out at the end, like the roots, and you, you cook the entire thing, you drink the entire thing, you have leftover, like, soaked ginseng, and you take it out and chew it and suck on it, that's kind of the flavor that I'm getting right now. Wow. So, let me do this review. Let me smoke one third and I'll come back. And then we'll see what happens because I'm like, it cannot be bad because I'm drinking and smoking. What what, what do you want me to do? Cannot be bad. I'll be back. Okay, so one third of the way, really good. Hay uh, and champagne kind of wine taste to it. It's, this is perfect pairing to either decide to pair with coffee, drinks, whatnot. It's perfect. Continue to smoke that. Now, I'm continuing to drink this thing. Now, I do want to mention that this is a sour mash. Now, what is a sour mash? I don't know alcohol that much, but I know that when, when I see sour mash or sweet mash, I think of it as like they use the leftover of the previous batch, something like that. That's kind of like mashed and fermented stuff to make this. And then um, I asked Josh, he said that there's also no cold press. I mean, oh, no, there is also no, no chill filtering, right? So they just filter as is. Now, um, this drink, at first I was questioning it because for a sour mash, usually that's like a sweet bourbon. But it wasn't that sweet. But after I drink it for a little bit, I guess my palate got used to that rooty root taste. The sweetness started to come through. So this is what I think and what I recommend. It's that if you get this, if you're the lucky one, you want to use this to definitely drink it on the rock a minimum of two shots in here. Because it takes time for your palate to open up for it. And then it also takes time for your palate to accept that root taste. And I'm, I'm you know, if you don't if you don't know what that root taste tastes like that I'm describing about, just go go to any of those like Chinese herb shop or go to Amazon and just buy ginseng. Like I'm talking about like a chunk of ginseng and just suck that piece of ginseng. That's what I think it tastes like. Okay. And then, after that, some sweetness goes through. Now, I diluted this a little bit with some water, so I can kind of get the layer of flavor. When you drink it on the rock, that ice has got to melt. And when it melts, it adds water, it introduces water into the, the drink. So, it's the same thing. But it does, like, it does smell like a berry. It kind of tastes like candy here and there. After... That light heat go through, and then that root taste wear down. You get the sweetness, right? So is it a good drink? Yeah, it, it's actually not bad. Um, is that something that I'm gonna drink every day? No, <laughs> no, uh, because this number one, this thing is strong. This is this is a strong drink. It's meant to be diluted, right? It's meant to be diluted to drink. Uh, most drinks are not this heavy, All right? So, for me, taking a shot like this, give me the purest form of this drink, but at the same time, uh, uh, tells me that how strong it is. It, it is strong. You now, if you have like a pure shot, you are close. <laughs> You're close. Okay, normal people will be like, oh, that's a lot of drink. Yeah, that's all. If you had a pure shot of this, you should not be driving, All right? So, um, 
and you know, it certain tastes pretty, pretty good so far. I can sip on it. I really like the way it smells. So when I would take a sip, I breathe. I really like that way it smells. And I really like it, how that warmth just covers your tongue and you start to salivate. I mean, that is a good quality drink. It's just that it, it definitely is not my favorite bourbon because I like a bourbon with more like a fruity note to it. And this thing has more of a base note to it. Uh, and, and, you know, it's not as... Lack of better word, citrusy or, or or fruity, and this is and, and this is usually for Asians, okay? Because Asians like to drink uh, a whiskey that are fruity. Uh, most Asian whiskey, you will get some sort of fruity notes in there, uh, pear, um, you know, some sort of cherry or apple, that kind of notes in our bourbon and and the American bourbon. You get that woodsy, no base, no roots, and 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 smoky taste to it. It's just it's just the complete opposite. So can, can I say this is a good drink? Yes, I can say this is a good drink. But is, is this a drink that I'm gonna absolutely love? I say I will like it, but I'm not gonna. I I I won't. It's not something I would. Oh my God, I need to get ten bottles of this. So now there are drinks that I get ten bottles of, like Yoichi from Nika. I have 10 bottles of your Ichi upstairs. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the stuff I like. And you can see that is a night and day comparison to this. It's actually not even a fair comparison or uh, a, a good comparison because they are totally separate spectrum of flavors. So, but if you are an American bourbon drinker, you're going to love this. You are going to love this. And, but in comparison to other, uh, you know what? I should be fair to compare to the price range of this. I bought this, uh, including shipping to me, at 60. All right, not, not very expensive, 60. So if I compare this to another $60 bourbon, I think this beat them by a mile. If that's the fair way to say it, beat them by a mile. But uh, if I compare to what I really usually drink, I usually drink things at like $100 range. Or three hundred dollar range, or five hundred dollar range. Um, that's why it's, yeah. But if this thing compared to Buffalo Chase, I kind of prefer Buffalo Chase better because this is a sweeter note. So it just depends on your personal preference. But they definitely choose a great barrel for this one. It, it's got character. It's got really got character. So I'm surprised. It's only been aged at least four years. Asian um, bourbon are usually aged eight years, unless it's made in Taiwan, to are aged for four years because of the tropical nature of that island. So let me continue to smoke it down, and then we'll come back and talk about the cigar. There we go, two thirds of the way down, a little bit left. Now I enjoy the cigar for sure. It's like. It's a cigar that goes with everything. Not only it's got a little bit of hay, it's got a little bit of a uh, uh, coffee note. Sometimes that coffee note kind of tastes like a creamy but like nutty kind of uh, taste to it. It's really, really good cigar. It's light. It's easy to smoke, and I can see why this is Davidoff's best-selling cigar for any level of smoker. So I like it. So oh yeah. I, ooh, this thing keep dropping today. I don't know. It's not holding the, the, the thing. To, it burned me a few times already. I was smoking. I was talking, and that thing just dropped on my leg. And it's <sighs> painful, but I still love you. I still love you. Signature 2000. I still love you. It's a quick smoke, too. So it's, you know, uh, not, not, not very long smoke, which I like, too. You know, it's like a... Uh, like, I just smoked a really shitty cigar. I need your help, please. And then it comes to rescue. Smoke output is great. The draw is always good to me. This is... Signature 2000 is like that aunt or aunt. That's really good to you, right? Your daddy yelled at you. Your mommy yelled at you. You call out your aunt. It's like, my mommy and daddy yelled at me. And your aunt says, no problem. Don't, don't feel sad. 
Don't feel sad. Let me go call your daddy and mommy and bitch at them. And then, and then she will call and it's like, what did you do to my nephew? What did you do to my, you know? And then they, they and then she'll call you like that. Bro. They're not gonna yell at you anymore, okay? Don't feel sad. Don't feel sad. I'll take you to the amusement park tomorrow. And you're like, yes. That kind of thing. Not that I have that kind of aunt. I don't have one. I have aunts. I don't have one that does that. I might as well smoke this thing all the way through the, the, the end and go to a summary of that. But as you no know, usual fashion, Davidoff band says 2000 on it. Very, very normal band. Nothing crazy. It's just their standard stuff. So there is uh, Davidoff number one, number two. Two, uh, 1,000, 2,000, 6,000, Toro, Tubo, and, and, and uh, Lanceros. One and two out of Lancero too. So, but after I'll smoke all through, I'm okay with the Toro, but Signature 2000 is still my favorite. So nice. Why are you so nice to me? Anyways, summary of the drink, new riff. You can buy this bottle, just not the one they selected in your local alcohol store. So it's not like it's hard to find, you can find them. Now, if they are consistent with their particular alcohol making thing, you're gonna like this if you like regular American bourbon, all right? Good bourbon. If you like drinking Asian bourbon, you'll like it, but you're not gonna like it as much as mm, some people. Okay, nice bottle to keep. I think a uh, regular bottle, uh, like in the forty to sixty dollar range, not expensive. Go try it. I think it's pretty good. Uh, but this bottle will be for my special events uh, or, or or special occasion or when um. You know, Albert and James bother me too much. I need something heavy to just knock me out. This is what it will be it. I feel like the more I drink it, the more I like it. The more I get used to that flavor, the more I like it. Every time before I take a sip, that aroma, beautiful. Beautiful aroma. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right. Signature 2000. I can't say enough about it. It's a very basic cigar, yet it's got everything I need to pair with anything else. All right. Signature 2000 is not the other way around. It's not like you get a drink to pair with it. Signature 2000, feel, I feel like to me, is that will pair with anything. Right? So I use this to pair with a good drink. I use this to pair with a good coffee. I use this to pair with something good that I know I'm going to have a good experience. I use this on, on the time where like I, I just had a really bad cigar. I need to like cleanse my palate like a chaser. Something like that. It's my... Well... But to some people, everyday cigar. This is my everyday cigar. 16 bucks, a little bit on the expensive side, and I, I, I think it is. I, I will prefer this cigar to be the $12 side, but it's 16 okay? And I, what I think I'm comfortable, very comfortable to pay that price because it became my everyday cigar. However, I will say this cigar is in the 12 to $13 range, to be honest, all right? I'm paying extra because I like it. Not because it's really a $16 cigar. It doesn't have the aroma or taste that would be a $16 cigar. There's a lot of $16 cigars out there. It's way more complex, way more uh, um, tasty than this cigar. But this cigar for me is a relaxing cigar. It's an everyday cigar. It's my Connecticut. It's my natural. It's my, you know. But like, you know, if I don't have this one, what do I smoke? I got to be very honest with you. If I don't have this to smoke, I will smoke Casa Cueva Reserva uh, Natural. Like, that's literally what I smoke if I don't have this to smoke. Ah, so good. But anyways, that's it for this particular review. I hope you like it. Definitely a shout out to Enfuego uh, Whiskey Tasting. Enfuego Whiskey Tasting. That's a mouthful. Group, you know, they're a bunch of good guys. If you're in the Texas area, you should join them because they are that good of a group. Nice people over there. Uh, some of the people are in the Shadow Smoke Legion. If you know them, you get to join Shadow Smoke Legion if you wanted to. It's a benefit, right? And um, yeah, 
that's it for this cigar. The drink is good. I'm having a good time. I'll see you guys next time. And yeah, like, subscribe, uh, comment, share, do your thing. Do your thing. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.